my dear aspirants of the SSB. It's always great to connect with you. So today, what am I going to do? Uh, this video will cover up what is. It is first of the detailed series of uh, 15 videos that we will be uh, showcasing in which we will cover in detail what each OLQ means. So if you have all seen my previous video where I was talking about all the 15 OLQs briefly and how they are divided into the various factors. So today we will uh, start with a detailed series of each of the videos. So continue to remain with the video right till the end for having a deeper understanding as to what we all uh, look at in the OLQs uh, one by one. So the first of these series, may this is the first of the videos in which I will be covering a very very important OLQ from factor 1. And as you all know factor 1 is the planning and organizing factor. And the first of the OLQs that we look here is called as the effective intelligence. So as the OLQ itself says, effective intelligence is what? It, this OLQ sees ki whatever problems or situations you are faced with, how do you come up with practical solutions to those problems? And all the three SSS pay a lot of importance to this OLQ where different situations, different scenarios, different times in life as to how we are putting the effort and how we are you coming up with solutions in the GTO task, all these things are seen in great details. The other thing that they see here is it is not your actual basic intelligence which is already checked in the OIR part or your written test. This is how you can practically solve problems. I, and this is the OLQ when they say in the defense you need common sense. This is the OLQ which sees the common sense. And for this to be effective, my suggestion to all of you to improve this OLQ in your own daily life would be see the situations, get experience. Once you see more situation and get experience, you will all be able to solve it in a much better way. Like for example, there are, there are problems which can be solved in one way and there are always things in which whatever you, whatever items you require to solve a problem is not available. And that is the time you use your common sense and come up with a new innovative way of solving those problems and this OLQ will look at that. Okay. So the further talking on this OLQ, the other second most important aspect of uh, being getting this common sense is how resourceful are you? Can you generate resources out of nothing whenever you are faced in that difficult position? Can you innovate and come up with new ways of solving a problem which nobody has thought of? A new line of thinking? So the, the, the way uh, and, and the end goal has to be ki you will have to solve the problem. So the two aspects that very very clearly is brought about is the common sense part and how resourceful can you get to solve all these problems. Okay, And why this is part of the planning and organizing that is the factor one which looks at the brain. Because you have to be fast you, you because you do not have time on all the situations. So one more thing which would be seen is how fast are you with, come up with coming up with the correct solution. See you can't use hit and trial out here. You can't use a logic which is not so correct. Uh, to solve the problem. So apart from you coming up with a solution, what is the logic that you are coming uh, using to come up with that solution and that is also being seen out here. Once you understand all the 15, oh, this is the first one, once you understand all the 15 OLQs, then you will see ki how this OLQ will be related to the other OLQs because in isolation we do not see any OLQs. It is in combination of all the other OLQs we see whether you are able to come up with the solution or not. So my suggestion would be there. So you will have to go through all the 15 uh, videos which would be coming up to understand the, the, the whole correlation as to how you can use this common sense to come up with solutions. Thank you very much.